What up, this is Marcus Nice with Ads. We have a very important video here today. And it's all about what you need to do exactly before your Dynasty Rookie Draft. And so we have the NFL Draft here very shortly in a couple of weeks here. And so what do you need to do here right now before your NFL, before the NFL Draft, before the Dynasty Mock Draft? And we're going to be talking about tiers and why it is so important to understand tiers in the dynasty community is because if you end up missing out on a tier you could only be one pick away but if you end up missing out on a tier it could be a drastic and ginormous drop off and not only that you could miss out on extreme players and you could miss out on players that you end up going from justin jefferson to Jalen Rager. You I mean you could miss a tier and you could end up getting the Zach Mosses and the Trey Sermons in the world. But how do we avoid that? We try to get into a better tier. We try to get into a, a tier that is going to be a little bit safer, has higher upside. Uh, this is exactly the strategy that led me to get sometimes Garrett Wilson and sometimes Drake London and sometimes uh, had me move up and to get to Traylon Burks and uh, different other players al along last year's draft and the year prior to the, the Every year, you can work on tiers. And so we're going to talk about the uh, super flex tiers. And especially if you're a team that needs, well, let's say, a quarterback or needs an absolute, like needs a running back or wide receiver, where can you project yourself in trying to figure out what tier do you need to get into to make yourself feel comfortable? And so we're going to start off with the tiers, and then we're going to talk about some different situations and conversations. So number one. One, the first tier, Bijan Robinson. It's pretty easy. Bijan Robinson has, is the 101 in Superflex and 1QB, but we're going to be talking Superflex. He is in a tier by himself. There is not a situation where, where I would take a quarterback, a different running back, or JSN over him. And so Bijan is easily the 101. Uh, the only situation I can see that that would hamper anything is if you became a New York Jet, um, and that is, or became an Indianapolis Colt. And I would hate, hate the NFL world for doing that. To Jonathan Taylor or Brees Hall. <laughs> so, Bijan Robinson, 101, Tier 1. Tier 2. We have a Tier 2 of 5 players when it comes to Superflex. You have three quarterbacks, C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson, and Bryce Young. You have Jackson Smith and Jigma, wide receiver. And you have Jameer Gibbs, running back. And we've talked extensively about all five of them, but that is Tier number 2. Very important to understand what tier. That, that is a tier together. So, if you say, hey, I want JSN second. I am not going to sit here and fight you over it. I am going to pick it. I personally would choose quarterbacks in most situations over these two players, JSN and Gibbs. But there are situations where I could see where a team gets really desperate and needy and goes, I'm going to take JSN and I'm not going to sit there and argue against them. They are in a tier. And so this tier is very important because if you are sitting at 107, you might have to sweat some bullets and hope that somebody drafts Will Levis, drafts Jordan Addison, drafts Quentin Johnston because that is literally the next tier or part of the next tier. And so you want to hope that somebody reaches into that category. Like I watched somebody draft Henry Ruggs because he was the first wide receiver taken in the NFL draft. So he was taken over the likes of Justin Jefferson, even though he was a speed guy and stuff like that, but he was drafted over Justin Jefferson. He was drafted over uh, T Higgins. He was drafted over Jalen Rager, who is a, a higher prospect at the time too. And so you have to hope and actually, Jerry Judy was in that draft too. And he was drafted over Jerry Judy. And so it's like you have to hope that somebody's going to reach a tier three player and a tier two. So you are, well, if you're at 107, I am trying to do everything I possibly can to get into 106, to get into 105. Yes, you could get your player 107, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to play the, the draft nightmare game unless you think that their, their league is an absolute, like we have a 16 team league running back necessary in one of my leagues. Zach Charbonnet will likely be into that pick. It just will happen. It just it's likely to happen. Uh, but he'll likely be in that tier. But again, you have to know your league rules and your league draft style. But I am trying everything. We're gonna talk about getting from 107 to 106 into that group. So next tier is 107 to 110. It contains Quentin Johnson, Jordan Addison, Will Levis, and Zach Charbonnet. For now. There is, there's a running back that can flop in and Charbonnet can flop out and you can have a wide receiver that gets added into this. If say Flowers goes somewhere great or um, Josh Downs goes somewhere great or they're, they're, there's players or they can fall out. You could have a Jordan Addison or Quentin Johnson fall out if one of these two wide receivers either falls because of draft capital, landing situation or both. And then you get to 11 to like 18-ish. Honestly, this tier is always the biggest. There's a lot of gambling here. 
I do not want to be 11 to 18. So these are the tiers that you have to understand. If you're at 11, then you, you better, you're going to feel a lot safer being at 10. And so I, if I am looking at myself at pick 11, pick seven, and you're not going to have pick two trying to get to one. It's just, it's right now, it's seeming to be impossible for any league mates that to have happen. Maybe in your league, it has happened, but it is extremely difficult for really high level fantasy leagues to get from two to one. It really is. I mean, literally the guy at one one pretty much every league that I have is like, hey, it's untouchable. You're just good luck. Um, so if you're at 107 and 111, the biggest advice that I have for you to play, you, your owners, the, the, the owners of those picks is to move up a pick, move up two picks. Um, if it, if you can get from 107 to 105 without having to spend a crap ton, if you can throw uh, if you can throw 107 and 207 for 105, I'm doing it. I am getting into that tier. I would rather have JSN over Jordan Addison and that, that amount. Jordan Addison plus 207. I would rather have one of the QBs or Gibbs that falls, Gibbs plus, or Gibbs for Charbonnet and 207. Like, I am trying to throw that second rounder and trying to get into that thing and th trying to get into the top six. If you're a quarterback needy team, just and you have to be flexible with this too, and you have to understand this because if you're 107 to 105, understand that if you want a wide receiver, like if that's all your target is, there's still risk because JSN could get picked fourth, and then you're then you have to play Plan B. You either have to draft Jameer Gibbs or a quarterback, and so uh, unless you have an idea of what the I I almost do in some of my leagues, I I kind of figure out okay, well this team desperately needs a wide receiver, they're going wide receiver. This team desperately needs a quarterback, they're going quarterback, and then there's teams that throw me for a loop, or there's draft day trades, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, 104 really needed a quarterback, or let's just say really needed a running back. I thought they were going Jameer Gibbs, and all of a sudden we're see they traded with a different team, and that team needs a quarterback, so it's actually going to take a quarterback there. So 107. You got to get into that top six. So get into that pick six, pick five. It's going to be much safer. You're going to feel a lot better about yourself now. You may have to pay a little bit, but you got to get in there. 111 to 110. Again, I am okay paying. I mean, I, uh, your second, your late second or a two thirds into that category to get in to that top 10 because I feel much better about Jordan Addison than I do Josh Downs or Zay Flowers. I feel a lot better about Will Levis than I do Hendon Hooker, even though that Hendon Hooker's gotten a lot of hype. I feel a lot better about Zach Charbonnet than I do Devin A. Chain and uh, Roshan Johnson and all these different other running backs. Like I feel a lot better about Zach Charbonnet. So it, maybe there's a player that gets added into this group, but right now, 111, 107 is a uh, is where I am trying to move up. So again, I hope you learn in this eight minutes that you need to move up if you're 108, 107. Get, get, just get some of these trades done. Let me know if you've done these trades and what it's taken to cost it, or what, what it's taken to make this trade actually happen. All right, peace out. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow when we're going to do some Dynasty Rookie Sleeper.